Picola and District Football League time here on the Flow Friday Sports Show on Flow FM. Tim McCormack, our normal and usual correspondent, joining us to go through all of it. And it's been another big week. Tim, how are you getting on? Yeah, yeah. Mate, just uh, getting ready for the second last round of the season, so it should be very interesting. Yeah, that it will be. Let's go to the game between Berrigan and Katamatite on the weekend. Uh, there was only ever going to be one winner and a pretty comprehensive scoreline in the end. Berrigan will be happy that they kept it under 100 points, I suppose, given the form of Katamatite. Yeah, I think so. And especially the, the game where they only, um, they only kicked a uh, solitary point themselves the week before. So, um, yeah, I think uh, it was only going to end one way and uh, Katamatite were well always going to be too strong. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that most people will agree with that. Blighty and Denny Rovers went at it. Denny Rovers too good, 136-9. to nine. Uh, So, Denny, continue on keeping on. Uh, how is their season going to finish, do you reckon? Yeah, look, I think um, they're going to be in the mix to play for it. Also, um, they're going to finish off quite well. I, I don't think they're going to be able to get into the last game. But, um, yeah, they've put themselves in there to, to make the eight. So, um, give themselves every chance. Token Ball, too good for Rennie, 92 to 48. Good win for Token Ball. Yeah, uh, Token on that big round. Um, was a little bit closer this game, uh, which is probably to be uh, filling the, the bottom half of the ladder, but um, Token Boys on their big round were too good. Now, you did say last week that you thought it would be a tough ass to. Uh, really nail down Tungama. In the end, they were pretty good on the day against your side, Mathara. 140-20, the final result. But you had some players out, and I guess those are the mitigating circumstances. Yeah, look, it's, uh, we had some injuries the week before, and, and, and once again, I suppose, and I'm not trying to make excuses, but uh, we've depleted our um, interchange bench halfway through the second quarter this week. So... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll ride on troops, but uh, the young fellas we brought up in the under 17 acquitted themselves quite well, so we couldn't be happier with the way they uh, performed on the weekend. Yeah, we are spanked by Gerildery and they're really limping to the finish line, aren't they? I guess that's been the case for them all season long. 177 to 2, the final result there, an absolute mauling. Yeah, the, the end can't come quickly enough for Yarrowea, I don't think, this, this season. It's been a long, hard slog. Uh, and, yeah, I think uh, the, the next two weeks, uh, they'll be looking forward to the end, that's for sure. Absolutely. All right, well, we leave the final two games to last for one reason only, and that's because they're absolute nail-biters, and they both finished in a stalemate. Katandra Katunga, the first one we should talk about, 38 all. How'd you see it, Tim? Yeah, absolutely ripping game. Low scoring. It would have been, would have been on the edge of your seat stuff all day uh, with this one. Yeah. Um, I don't think any side had full control at all at any stage. So, and that was right down the wire and, and scores a little at, at full time. So, Katandra's sort of stumbled a little bit uh, in the last couple of weeks. They haven't had it all their own way. So, uh, it's starting to get interesting now with only a couple of games. You're definitely right about that. Bacola United and Wayai, the other result that finished in a draw. 58 all this one. I didn't see it coming, I've got to say, Tim. I thought Way I'd be too oh, good. Uh, yeah, I honestly thought um, Way I would have been way too strong, um, especially very seasoned final performers. They know how to get the job done when they need to, and Cole uh, obviously worked out how to play them well, uh, and they've done the job on them at home. So uh, to, to split the points, it's a massive, it's almost a win for McCoy. Uh So they'll cement themselves in the top eight, and uh, with that sort of form, is, uh, they can do a bit of damage come You're right. You're absolutely right. We'll wait and see what happens. Katandra are top still. Uh, Strathmerton are now second. Uh, they didn't have a game, though. It has to be said they'd played too many games on everyone else. Katamatite third. Wayai fourth. Katunga fifth. Piccoli United sixth. Tungamar seventh. Gerildery eighth. Danny Rovers ninth. Mathara tenth. Berrigan eleventh. Tokenwald twelfth. Rennie thirteenth. Blighty fourteenth. And Yarrawea in... 15th place at the foot of the ladder. Let's take a look at the fixtures this weekend. First one we should discuss is between Berrigan and Tokenwall. 
This one might be a close game. There's a possibility it might be a close game, or we'll just not see it, and there'll be a mauling one way or the other. Uh, how do you think it might go, Tim? Well, this is one of those ones that you just never know. Um, at Berrigan, you would nearly say Berrigan, but they've won the last two games uh, since anything but that. Um, so I really think probably could have come all with an upset. So I went up the highway with, uh, with every confidence they can knock Berrigan off. Druidery and Katamatite. I think this could be close. I think Katamatite probably too good on paper, but games are never won on paper, Tim. No, uh, exactly right. Um, if you're looking at ladder positions and, and, and form lines and things like that, that's where it gets close with form lines. Druidery's last three to four weeks have been very, very good. Uh, they've been kicking some big scores, so they will worry the Katamatite defence. But I think Katamatite across the ground should have too many answers. Uh, but don't be surprised if it's very close. Katunga, Swans, they should be too good for Blighty. What do you reckon? Yeah, this will be one-way traffic this game, I think. Katunga will put the foot down now with only two weeks to go out from the finals. Uh, and they'll get the job done easily against Blighty. As far as things go for your side, Mathara up against Wai it's an absolute must-win game all uh, you know, all hands on deck, Tim. Uh, but it'll be hard, obviously. Yeah, look, they'll be um, they'll be hurting for their draw last week. I've got no doubt the, the bombers. So they'll come out uh, with a point to prove that they're not done with yet. Uh, we'll give another couple of under seventeen boys the opportunity to play senior footy with a couple more injuries out of last weekend's game. Uh, but footy's a funny game. You never know. You put enough pressure on some sides, and who knows what could happen. Absolutely, Denny Rovers and Piccoli United. That should be another mouth-watering one. Yeah, look, I think um, on the big Denny ground, they will cause a few troubles for Piccoli United. But um, with the way Piccoli obviously played against Clay High last week, they've got to go in as favourites. Uh, and should get the job done. Strathmerton against Katandra. Which side do you like in this one? It's going to go yeah. to the uh, very uh, end of the fourth quarter, I feel, until we know who's going to come out on top in this one. Well, I think this will probably determine who finishes on top of the ladder, I think, um, in the home and away season. Uh, we've played both of these sides over the last three to four weeks. Um, and before we played them, or probably Katandra to win the flag until we played them both. So I've, I've uh, switched my allegiances now to think I reckon Stratton Burton's the best side we've played. So I, I think uh, the Bulldogs will get the job done uh, unless Katandra can curb Tim Looney. He's already kicked his 100. Um, he's a fantastic player. Doesn't miss too many, so they need to really get on top of uh, the attacking players of Stratford, otherwise they're in trouble. Well said. Finally, Tungamar should take care of Yarrawea. Yeah, this will be all one-way traffic again, a bit like the... Uh, Katunga, Blighty game. I can't see Yarrawea troubling Katunga in any way, shape, or form this weekend. Uh, like I said, they'll be looking forward to the end of the season. Uh, and Tungamar will be getting their structures right, getting ready for finals. All right, Rennie, have the bye. That wraps things up. Tim McCormack, great to chat again. Really hope your side can deliver some sort of results on the weekend. Good luck to you, and we'll speak to you next week. All the best. No worries, mate. Thanks very much.